Yo guys, what's up? Um, so this is going to be part one of my Kindle Fire rooting and what to do. So um, this is just how to root to a Kindle Fire. Uh, you're going to need this Kindle Fire utility that is in the link description. Or the link's in the description. And you're going to unplug your Kindle um, from your computer and hit install drivers. Right, you're going to click yes, next, and finish. So now we'll open the run.bat, run, and now we wait for the daemon to start running. Um, there you go, and now plug in your Kindle, and it will install the d device software. And once it's done, uh, you can hit zero in command prompt and refresh your device. Alright, so it's ready to use, hit zero, enter, and now it's online, and it says like 40,000. 4,000 or something. Anyway, we're going to, um, for the route that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing number two. Um, yeah, it'll tell you that that's there. But anyway, we're going to be doing number two, and that's install permanent root with super user. So click number two, and hit enter, and it'll start to install your root. Alright, so now what should happen eventually is your Kindle Fire should start booting up, but you won't notice the normal boot. Um, at first it will have the normal boot, but then it will switch to a blue instead of an orange when it says Kindle Fire. And so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, that tells you that this route worked, and eventually it will power on, and we're just going to wait for that. Alright, so once it has loaded uh, and booted up, then you're going to unlock your Kindle and disconnect it from that um, from the screen uh, that, that connected to computer. And it'll say um, installing super user. And there you go, it installed super user on your uh, Kindle, and your Kindle is successfully rooted. So if you like this video, leave a like. Uh, comment any questions that you have uh, regarding rooting your Kindle. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.